that's uh, I've got a bass guitar playing there. Um, let me introduce the bass guitar to you. Uh, what we have here are four strings. The low one, nearest one, the thickest one to you is known as the E string. We have the A string, the D and the G. So it's the first four strings that you look down if you see a normal guitar. Uh, basses tend to be quite heavy, heavy wood. Um, these, this part of the guitar, the bass guitar is called the neck. Uh, this part here is the body. These are the tuning pegs, which you have to uh, tune to each other, so it makes sense. Um, you can get apps on your phone to tune them. I have a little, where is it? I have a little thing here I can stick on the end of the, the on the head here. It's the head, I forgot to tell you about the head. And yeah, tune it. So what you have on the bass, uh, on the, the neck of the guitar are frets. Now these are marked with these metal bars. You can see they go up. That up to the, the very end of the guitar, yes. and um, in each of these frets, there is a single note. So, if you put your finger on this note here on the second string, the A string, so I can move that. You can see in that fret. not until I go over the metal line does the note change properly. So if you want to play notes you have to put your finger in the middle if you want to play notes well you have to put your finger in the middle between these. I heard Stuart call it the goal post the other day so I'm going to call these the goal post as well and your finger is indeed the ball so you want to shoot the ball into the net the net's back here obviously and you'll get a clean note. The good thing about the bass guitar is, compared to the electric guitar or the acoustic guitar, is that you can just play one note at a time. So if you try to play a chord on a guitar, you have to bear in mind where your fingers are on the other strings. And if it's a little bit muffly, that sounds like rubbish. So you have to just concentrate on getting one note at a time. Now, your right hand, if you're right-handed, you play the guitar right-handed. Um, if you play with your fingers, like I do, um, it might be an idea to show you where my fingers go when I'm playing notes, when I'm playing the, the rhythmic part. Um, these little uh, pickups here provide a good resting place for your thumb. So you can... And the same way with your fingers as you. What I find is that when you go, you play the high notes on the thinner strings, you tend to move your little resting thumb onto the E string. So, see where my thumb is now? It's killing any note, stray note, unwanted note that the E string might you know, through vibration might just um, ring out if, if you kept it here. Um, equally, if you're using if you're a Peter Plectrum type of guy, you're kind of resting your forearm on the body here. So you can make your way. are doing on with my right hand uh, when I'm playing but I will be playing with my fingers so you will see me moving up and down 
particularly at the start of the video when I'm playing that bass line over that little drum beat, um, you can see how my fingers are. We should maybe try and play a bass line together. Not together, but you know, when I'm finished. Or you can sit and pick up a bass guitar along with me, if you have one. I actually stole my dad's. First bass that I had was my dad's. I stole it from him. I'm not encouraged that obviously, but borrow was, was the term. But it kind of turned into full time borrowment. So, yeah. Um, and the first person he taught me was Eight Days a Week by the Beatles. Then he just went back down the stairs to watch Tough the Pops. So I was like, okay, I'll get on with that then. Uh, yeah, and he showed me the notes. We'll, I'll go into a bit more detail in the next video about the notes. Uh, but I would like to possibly try a little bass line with you all. It's from a uh, Fleetwood Mac song. Now you might think, Fleetwood Mac, they're rubbish. But there's a, a really good bass line in a song of theirs called The Chain. And it's, it's a, quite a fair bit into the song before this section starts. So I will be able to play that for you now, I think. Yeah, so this is slower, so you can, um, it should be easier. Again. Now, the notes I'm playing there are. And I know a lot of uh, people who teach guitar and bass, I don't, clearly, uh, they use numbers for the frets instead of notes, which is the, you know, third note and the A string is C. So three on A. Um, so it kind of does make, it does make sense, but it's easy for you, I uh, will talk you through the numbers. And the first note in the part is the open A string. So slow it right down. So you can see in the middle of that, I'm playing an open A string, I'm playing an open E string at the end. You could stretch to that note here, which is the same note, that's A as well. But for easiness, you can just play the open note. So when you're going from the There's a digital version of it online, it's a web page, and you can just make a beat, just pressing what you want. Um, so the main thing about playing the bass and being a bass player is being in time with the drums. I mean, that's just like, there's no, there's no question there, that's just has to happen. So if you just practice playing in, in time with the drums,
what it comes. That's what comes from learning an instrument. It is tricky. It is difficult. But you will get your head around it, and you get your fingers around it. They will hurt. Um, th these are metal strings, steel. So it will be sore, but fun. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.